the far right is on the rise across Europe. Today... I rang my boss, the Hope Not Hate Chief Executive, Nick Lars, and I said, it, it, something's about to happen. Um, Jack Renshaw's going to murder Rosie Cooper. They were members of National Action, a far-right group which was prescribed after celebrating the killing of the MP Joe Cox. I left all my so-called normal friends behind to just have me political friends. National Action had gone from a scary sort of nasty group of teenagers to some hardline neo-Nazi terror group. Just hours before the attack, he's balaclava clad, knife in hand, and posing in front of a flag bearing the symbol N.A. They call themselves National Action, a far-right group formed its thought in 2013 and filmed here in Newcastle. But Robin and I struck up a relationship where he became what I think we are best to describe it. He was a mole. He passed us information. Throughout this period of time, he just carried on inside national action. It was horrendous for him, horrendous for us. I arranged to meet with Matthew Hankinson earlier in the day so we could have something to eat. The other group of people arrived to join us, but it was just the same old boring conversation. And then Jack turned up. A character called Jack Renshaw. He'd been in the BNP. He'd flirted with the English Defence League. Still very, very young, 22 years old. And he'd made a name for himself for years for encouraging people to kill Jews. Parasites, he called them. And he told us he wanted to talk to us, and he, he looked all serious. He looked sad at the same time, and something was wrong with him. And then he told us about his plan to kill his local MP. Jack Renshaw went to this meeting and told these people that I'm going to kill my local MP. Not one of them, at any stage, said that he should not carry out this terrorist attack. The only thing that they said was, nobody had heard of Rosie Cooper MP. Would it not be better to kill Jews in a synagogue? Robin Mullen, who was inside the meeting, protested that synagogues may be full of children. Jack Renshaw, who was already facing charges as well as child exploitation, but also facing charges for incitement to racial hatred, told the other people at the meeting, whether you kill an old Jew or a young Jew, you don't say when you're exterminating vermin, oh look, it's just a baby. It's just a baby bit of vermin, or it's a baby rat, or it's a baby Jew. You just kill vermin. The, these far-right neo-Nazis, when they want to kill someone or, or, or cause outrage, they choose women because they hold them in such low regard, but also, of course, they believe they are physically weaker. So he chose uh, Rosie Cooper, I guess very much in the same way that it was beneficial for the person that killed Joe Cox MP, a local MP, a woman, a Labour MP, a feminist. Robbie came to us because we're anti-racist. He came to us because we're anti-fascist. He came to us because we were the only people still investigating national action. Robbie is this serious. Robbie is, is Jack definitely going to do it? And Robbie said, oh yeah. And it, 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 it's almost going to happen immediately. Jack Renshaw had planned to kill her as part of what he called white jihad. He bought a 19 inch machete and searched the internet to find out how to cut the jugular artery. The police finally arrested the alleged conspirators. And she, and she obviously wasn't killed because of that information. So the sacrifice 
me and the switch round really. The threat was gone off her life and now it's been put onto mine. Robbie Mullen was left at home during the day on his own, full of bravado as he is, but the police went to his house and gave him an Osmond warning, which basically says there's a credible threat to your life. I rang two friends of mine who worked for us in Manchester. We met in Manchester. We drove to Runcorn, where Robbie was living. The most horrendous weather conditions. I can't even begin to tell you how horrendous the rain was and the darkness. We shoved him in the back of a car. We drove him about a mile and then we spirited him into the back of another car and we drove him off. There was no choice, it was something that had to be done. And in a way, my life got ruined because of that. Having to move and lose my job and everything. But that's just what happened and it wasn't a choice between her life, her being murdered and me staying working somewhere, so. We hid Robbie Mullen from the police and from national action because this is a guy they had just left. They just left him, told him you're gonna be murdered. A guy who'd left school at 14, a guy who had watched his father die at 16, had no great luck in life, had had no great adventures, had never even been on a plane. Uh, I was then tasked to look after Robbie Mullen because the one promise that we make people the one promise I'd made Robbie Mullen was that whatever you tell us, whatever happens, we will always protect you. Robbie came to hope, not hate, because we never stopped. Our commitment was so strong that we, we put Jack Renshaw in prison. I'm, I'm really proud of that. So proud of that, so proud of Robbie. So proud of hope, not hate, and everything that we did.